Welcome back to Houston Life. UFC fighter Derek Lewis is looking to build on the momentum of his last UFC fight. In case you missed it, he won via knockout in just 33 seconds. Right, and that TKO got him a new contract with the UFC, and now he has to face a guy, uh, Jelton Almeida, who is on a 14-fight winning streak. So it's a daunting task. He's under a lot yeah. of pressure, but I promise our guy is up for it, and I'm so excited that he was able to make some time for our crew. Um, I was really actually just over the moon. Check it out. We are at Main Street Boxing and Muay Thai, and yes, it's on Main Street for those wondering. And I am so, so, so excited because I get to meet someone I'm a fan of, and I know Houston has a lot of love for him as well. It's Derek Lewis right here. He's all sweaty. He's sweaty. <laughs> the heat is radiating off of you, Derek. Um, you come in here and you're getting after it this morning. What are you preparing for? Yes, I'm preparing for my big fight November the 4th. Um, that's probably like in three weeks or something like that in Brazil. I actually want to talk to you because you're a crowd favorite when it comes to like your post fight interviews and the things you say. I mean, what is it about you that you think like people relate to so much? Because I've been to your UFC events and people just, they love you. You're so Houston, they just love you. I don't know. I just think everyone is crazy. Everyone just really teasing me because I'm thrown off a little bit. Okay, yeah. okay. And you're very, I love the authenticity. I think it's your authenticity. I think it's your mm -hmm. honesty, um, you know, after after you win. And your last fight was actually a knockout. So talk about the last fight and uh, what you're anticipating for this upcoming one. Um, the last fight, um, I just wanted to go out there and show everyone that I still have it. You know, I really haven't been healthy and I felt like the best I ever been in my life mm -hmm. like going into that fight and I had so much energy and so I just felt like I could fly and so that's what uh, basically what I did. And the news just dropped down that Derek is going to be on the card because another guy backed out and we don't have a ton of details on that and honestly we don't really care about that <laughs> other guy because he's not, you know, uh, the pride of Houston like yeah. you are. Um, so were you training before or now you like, okay, I got to get serious when they called you in and you agreed to take the fight? Um, I was already training. I was running just about every other day at Memorial Park. Okay. And so now they give me the news, now I'm training every day. Now. now, a lot of you might be wondering who's in charge of taming, of training the beast, right? It's this guy right here. I'm here with Robert Perez. He is the owner of Main Street Boxing and Muay Thai. What kind of competitor are we talking about when we're talking about Derek Lewis? Derek's a totally different type of fighter than I've, I've ever trained. We have hundreds of fighters here. Always trying to improve on technique, but what he has is this intangible that you just cannot right. prepare for. Yeah, and this is someone who's dedicated. This is someone who we've seen get knocked down. This is someone who we've seen um, knock out so many people too. And he really does just have this uh, genuine likability about him. But what kind of things are you guys doing in here to make sure that he's ready when he goes to Brazil? Well, with a short fight camp, we only have basically three weeks to prepare yeah. for this specific fighter. So this guy's a grappler, so we're obviously working on things to, to, to nullify his grappling and more than anything, pushing his, his cardio to get him in, in fight shape. It's a 25 minute fight. It's not gonna go the distance, right? but it's a 25 minute fight. He is a hard worker and uh, his right hand is unlike anything I've ever seen. Yeah. Perfect fit for Houston. All right. Well, thank you so much, Coach, thank and uh, let's have some fun. Yeah. Yeah. I really want you to like, come on. You be strong. No. We're training for something here. One, two. Ah, that's what I like, Derek. Yeah. One, two. <laughs> <laughs> How does the, mm -hmm. the the dance go when you win? Like after you knock someone out, you just you just kill them. Okay, it's my turn. Okay. So this is where I have my opponent, and I'm like, pop, pop, pop. And the ref probably has to pull me off because I'm just giving yeah. it to him. Pop, pop. I'm like, oh, give me your space. And then I, boom, boom, boom. And then I get up, and it's over. Yes. And it's over. Yes. Oh, I like that. <laughs> that felt great.
<laughs> wow. I told you you would love it. I mean, he was as stunned as we were when you did that. You're pretty good at that. Well, he said he'd never had a, a woman hold bits for him, so that was a first for me. And yeah, I think I was probably the craziest person that ever interviewed him. But I, I really, really, really want Houston to support this guy because UFC Sao Paulo is sure to be an entertaining night. Uh, Derek's on the card, the main event. He's fighting a Brazilian, Jelton Almeida. He's won, as I mentioned, those 14, 14 fights. fights. And so, you know, and he's a hometown guy, so he's a Brazilian dude. We got to support Derek from afar. Yeah. The event's going to be on ESPN Plus November 4th. I believe it's 8 p.m. our time, so we are 100% rooting for the beast. Go get him. I can't wait to see him do that dance. <laughs> yes, yes, and I can teach it to you. Okay, I can see that. <laughs> okay, after the break, a look at what's coming up on tomorrow's show. We'll be right back. <laughs>